Okay, next I'm going to put in a uh, foot pump uh, for some raw water uh, here at the sink. This is just the just the uh, outlet here. Um, I'm going to be putting this down there. Uh, There's a little mark I put to guide me. Um, and it should fit nicely in there. Uh, so I'll be running a line uh, along here through the locker along here around and then I'm going to put a T this bronze T in right about here uh, or here rather here uh, just past the shut off for the uh, for the toilet Okay, and now I've got the preliminary uh, fitting. Cut a little slot there and screwed in the two bottom holes into the face here, the fiberglass. I'm probably gonna do some more securing at the bottom, uh, but I gotta, I gotta drill the hole for the hose to come through this bulkhead. Okay, so in trying to put the hose on, the pump um, because I'm trying to get the pump as close to the bulkhead as possible um, had trouble with the hose uh, clamp actually so what I ended up doing is just using a hole saw <laughs> putting a really big hole in there uh, so that the um, the hose clamps not a problem and I'm, I'm gonna seal it back up from the uh, the uh, wet locker side So let's see. I need to determine where I'm going to be putting the um, the faucet, um, and I was thinking something like this diagonally, uh, which I think will work. But um, I think a better option might be to turn this around. So that this part is further over to the right and then maybe put this next to it like that I mean aesthetically it's even but um, it's also it's also I think more practical in this situation so I think I'll I think I'll do that and now it's installed I think that works out well of course I could just move this if I have to same with this um, and I sealed it with a little butyl tape in there it's gonna continue to squeeze out for the next few weeks but uh, I think that's that part is set and from the wet locker side so here's that hole I made for the uh, the barb of the pump um, and I'm just gonna seal it off with this little piece of tape that I Cut out and varnished, uh, and the hose will pass through there. And another consideration here is once I tap into this line here, which is just past the valve for the toilet, I'm thinking I should add another valve because if I ever have a leak in the pump, um, I could just shut the pump off and leave the, the valve open for the toilet allow that to still be used so um <clears throat> have a i bought a new valve assembly um i still need a bronze piece here so i just put this uh, plastic one in uh, temporarily and one side is a uh, three-quarter hose the other side leaning to the pump is half inch because uh the one that i'm tapping into is three quarters and the barb for the pump is half inch so uh, i think uh well, I was planning to actually put that valve in the wet locker there, but to save on the very limited space, uh, because I'm going to be running the hose under here, I'm thinking I'm going to just epoxy this board <clears throat> to under there, just allow the handle to stick out a little bit, and uh, that won't be obtrusive and it'll be out of the way. 
and now everything's complete. I have right here tapped into that line, three quarter line, three quarter braided hose goes under here, under there to the valve assembly here. I did coat that uh, piece of plywood in, in epoxy. Um, it can be shut off here. Two bronze barbs. Then half inch line. Goes right through there. Um, through the wet locker. And finally, to the pump. A little dark. Um, enters pump here, and this goes to the uh, to the faucet up there. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to shorten the the foot piece here, it's sticking out a little bit. Uh, maybe it's not too far, but uh, I'll, I'll play that by ear and shorten it if needed. I just need to cut maybe a half inch or an inch and a half or so. That's it. Next, I want to add a filter, a carbon filter to the fresh water supply. Um, typically, the whenever I, when I fill the tanks, it's very chlorinated or uh, it's being filled with a hose, so uh, you get a lot of residual taste. Uh, so I think this should take care of it. This is a pretty inexpensive filter, maybe $10 from um, from a hardware store meant for a refrigerator. <clears throat> I just added these uh, brass barbs. Um, it's like a quarter inch thread to a 3 8 barb, which is the hose I have inside. And this bracket, which I had, I'm not sure what it's from, uh, but obviously it fits. Uh, and that should hold it to the um, under the sink and there we go that was actually relatively easy just mounted it to that little hidden storage area that I made next <laughs>